What's up, YouTubers? It's Justin with 904 Lawn Pros. So you want to start a lawn care business, huh? Let's talk about the ideal client, or at least what my ideal client is. Now, I know in the beginning you're going to take anybody and everybody because you need to make money, and I get that. Um, the problem is... Uh, down the road, you're gonna have to start dropping those people and some of them you're gonna start to like and blah blah blah, but this is a business, so um, The number one well god, there's so many number one most important things, but um, When we talk about customers the number one thing that we need to get is route density Try to get all your clients in the same area. You don't make money driving around looking out your windshield uh, We get paid to cut grass not drive so um you know, try to get as many people on one street as you can or in one neighborhood as you can or within a couple of miles of each other. Um, I'm blessed and cursed at the same time. I live in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, the largest city in the U.S. land-wise. I believe it's 850 square miles, a uh, population of over a million people in the metro area. Um, so in the beginning, I was picking up clients all over, everywhere. Um, you know, one day I was in Mandarin, uh, another day I was in Fort Caroline, um, so on and so on. You know, and there were days where I would, you know, it just worked out to where I had to drive 20 minutes in between each client, and I wasn't billing for that time. I was losing money. Um, so, you know, some of you guys that are in smaller areas won't have that problem. I mean, it's, you know, I've got plenty of clients to, to go after. Um, but if I don't watch it, I can lose money just because I'm driving around. So anyway, getting off the route density bus. Now we're gonna talk about what I think is the ideal client. This is gonna differ on your area, the type of equipment that you have, um, what kind of work you like to do, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna turn around the camera and, uh, or turn the camera around and uh, we're gonna drive through this neighborhood real quick and tell you why I think at least for me, this is the ideal client. All right, now if you've watched a couple of my videos, uh, you've seen my ex-wife's house um, that I take care of. This is her neighborhood. Um, these are my ideal clients. Nice houses, nice neighborhood. You know, there's an HOA to where if the people don't cut their grass, the HOA gets on to them, sends them nasty letters, they get fined. So these people are usually pretty good about staying on top of their yards. They're usually pretty good about irrigating. They are usually pretty good about fertilizing and usually pretty good about making sure it gets cut because they don't want to get fined by the HOA. Um, these are the guys that are usually weekly cuts. They're smaller yards. It's a newer construction neighborhood. You know, I think this neighborhood is like eight years old or something. Um, so there's not a lot of huge trees that create a huge leaf problem. You can come in here and bang these things out, you know, at 30, 35, 40 bucks a cut, whatever it is, um, depending on size of yard and trim time and whether they've got a fence or not and all that good stuff. But man, you can bang these things out and you can make $100 an hour. Um, you know, if you're working by yourself, if you've got a helper, even if you're paying your helper, you know, uh, 10, 15 bucks an hour, whatever you pay your helpers, uh, you're still, you know, like I said, you can knock three or four of these out and, and make 100, 125 bucks, no big deal. It's just getting enough clients to do that. Uh, we'll do another video talking about how much you can make in lawn care. Um, you know, I've had days where, you know, I only make 50 or 100 bucks. My best day so far, I think, was almost $400 just cutting grass. Um, there's the ex's house that I just finished. Um, you know, but of course, you add landscaping and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, you can make a lot more. Um, I just need to finish filling my schedule up so that every day is like that. Uh, that's the point I'm trying to get to, and uh, we'll be there. I'm not, I'm not worried about it in the least. So anyway, this is my ideal client. These type of houses, this type of neighborhood. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. You know, if you've got some comments, let me know. I'm always learning. Uh, I'm still new to this. I'm just trying to help out everybody else that's getting started. Uh, so anyway. Hit me up, like, subscribe, appreciate it guys, on to the next one.